Hello everybody, this is looking very bad. 1900 Nurgle is of course never good. We've only got 12 players as well. So, what's he got? Oh, his record isn't great, but he's got three claw mighties. A strength six beast. I wonder if the wizard's good enough. Maybe it's better to um, get another bribe, right? Because with only 12 men, can't reliably... Can't reliably... Use the bribe to keep him for the second half. I don't know, wizard's really good though, isn't it? Screw it. Maybe I should have scummed it to get an apple over the babe. Because the babe's pretty useless for... Uh, Oh, I was on the wrong scene. Never mind. I was wondering why I couldn't find the uh, the scoreball and the record. Right. So the record's not but not looking that bad now because <laughs> hello, bike Because Elliot has had a horrendous run, and now his record is in tatters. Um, so now this record doesn't actually look that bad. But, um, it's obviously not good. I'm gonna go for the win anyway. Seeing as he's lost a lot of games, he's just, you know, hopefully he's gonna be a bit shit and, uh, can. Can win somehow, but it's just so killy, isn't it? It's just so killy. These are the kind of games that are a nightmare for dwarfs. That's the TV down. No answer to the claw. I wish Skuro was here to watch it, the winner 3-5-A, that would be brilliant. Hello Dimmy, not really. Oh, hello Skuro, what are the chances? <laughs> yes. He's the candy man of Blood Bowl. CCO Griefer is the name of a Hellboy song, yeah. It was going to be Chalice Banger originally, and Chalice Banger fits better, obviously, with Teenage Dirtbag. It's the right number of syllables, isn't it? But CCL Griefer works better with what it is. So, we can blitz this one, or blitz this one.
Okay, so this is pretty shocking, isn't it? This is really, really horrendous. But hopefully, next turn something happens. That's the plan. <laughs> Bang down two claw mighties. But still taking two claw mighty hits, which is pretty shit, isn't it? And mighty blow hits. It's just not good enough. Yeah, Hellboy's, Hellboy's parodies are pretty amazing. So at least he hit a low quality player there. He could have just done the other one. But I guess this activates the beast. Yeah, there you go. So I put in the guard to get the hit and immediately get banged out. Absolute classic. Comedy mega. Guard down the drain. Just want to concede. <laughs> God, high TV is really rubbish, isn't it? Ordon versus Dimmy tomorrow. Glorious. In the SFL. Also, five idiots are on tomorrow. At 1900 UTC. So there you go. Click then. Nice. Huge. Hello, Kevin John. 1900 UTC. <laughs> Shut up, Dimmy. Um, he is already here. <laughs> he is already here, Saturday. <laughs> Going back to drinking, fair enough. Um, we've got a horrible spin with uh, Nurgle. But luckily, banged out the claw mighty, so. There's half a chance. Telling me there's a chance. Oh, well, that's interesting, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here's an idea. I don't know if you'd be up for this. I'm probably, maybe I should just PM you. Can I, can I DM you on, on Discord? Do you, could you, uh, or could you DM me on Discord? <laughs> it's probably better than putting you on the spot in a Twitch chat. Yeah. 
Yes, Kevin Jordan. World. World famous. World famous. World of Warcraft games design. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That would, that would be about the most glorious thing ever, yeah. <laughs> that would be just about the most glorious thing ever, yeah. To be honest. Wait, what's, what's wrong with the thing on the... Why is that saying and... Hashtag 39. Colon. Why is it doing that? It did it for... It's done it twice now. It did it for uh, Skuro as well. Very strange. Oh, baby. Right, what the hell is this? He's nearly in range. He can punch. He can't blitz. He could power and then could blitz him. Could blitz him and then just leave him down. That's probably the best way, isn't it? Hmm. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. 27 months of being part of Team Fantastic. Glorious Jim G. Glorious. Knocked him down. Knocked him down. Let's see what he said. Oh, remove him! Hello. <laughs> That's good. Isn't it? Yeah, I stopped. I stopped doing the BLGF because it was bad, but then. But then trended it as a, as a as a stadium, and I thought that's genius. Um. <laughs> yes, fine, yeah, yeah. Yes, he is. Hello, HTK. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube without ad block. Much appreciated. What an absolute legend HTK is. <laughs> Basically three times better than the average YouTube viewer. <laughs> yeah, unbelievably stuff was much, 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 much worse, yeah. Yeah. Well, there, there's my Discord, and then you could get in there and then DM me, and then and then we could work something out. It'd be pretty glorious. That'd be pretty glorious. I've, I've, I've got. I've, I had some ideas. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> This is actually not bad at all, right? I've been really lucky to make two removals and only take one. <laughs> you guys are terrible, by the way. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Double fun. <laughs> Oh, this is Garda. That's okay, we still get to bang. We still get to bang.
do we get to bolt? Because the this guy can be freed, can't he? He could 1D. He can 2D and he can 2 plus and get the ball. I guess there is the small ma ma matter of this fella. So maybe one more turn before the whiz. Get this guy in involved somehow. Tag him. Oh, baby, that gives us the hit there as well. In fact, no, because then he can just go there and give us the hit. Or blitz him and chain him into there. Which isn't particularly good. I think blitz him. Down. And then he occupies him, doesn't he? Which is nice. Really nice. The glorious banging. The glorious banging continues. And then go there to... Oh, wow, look at the pathy. Oh, no, that was fair. That was actually fair pathy. Well, it should have been that. But it admit did that, so it actually wasn't fair pathy. But it wasn't as bad as I initially... It was terrible, but it wasn't as bad as I initially thought. Should have been that, right? It should be a 3 plus. But instead, it makes you do a 3 plus. A 5 plus 3 plus. Adds a 5 plus in for no reason. I want, I want to protect him. Amazing. <laughs> it was in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, more plover. <laughs> Hello, Flux Streamer. <laughs> you, you weren't really being called out too much, Plo. I just said I'll have to ask you again. The spiciest picks. <laughs> no, it's the runner, and I've used my apple. Okay. Nancy handoff? Skull? Maybe I should have used the whiz. Well, okay, we get two on grind him. Oh no, 100k. 100k inducement that does nothing. Well now, <laughs> now I wish I'd used the. Uh, now I wish I'd used the. Uh, the whiz here. Now I really wish I'd used the whiz. I didn't think of him just scoring. Which I guess once he's down three players, he wants to do right. So maybe I should have popped the whiz. Wasn't that good a whiz, but it was all right. It was just there was no real way to deal with the. Like maybe I could have just passed it right. Because I, I could free this guy with that block, so he could have gone downfield and I could have passed it to him. Maybe that was the play. I didn't like that I couldn't keep it safe from the uh, strength fall. Yeah, I don't know why, Plo. I don't know why that's happening. Fuck off. Nothing I can do about it, really.
Hello, backyard door. Oh. Two GFIs at the moment. It's not too bad, I guess. And there's the option of a handoff as well. I didn't. I didn't say that, no. Flicky, I said I did not see. <laughs> I did not see. I didn't think of the handle. No, I don't want to steal too much of his content. He's, he's already made me F tier. He's made me an F tier viewer for stealing his content. And I haven't, I haven't even got started on stealing his content. <laughs> yeah, the dwarves don't have a real ball carrier. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, who? literally who? Who wrote that? Maybe because he's not a thrower, right? And they were like, he's not a thrower. They need a throw. Why haven't they got a thrower? They must not have a ball carrier. I definitely want to punch that guy. I want to punch him because he's got my glow. Good. Boris the Blade. How this guy? Oh, God, I'm really dicing him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh god, I'm dicing him so hard. <laughs> oh god. Wonderful. Wonderful. Get off my fucking bitch break. <laughs> oh baby. This is some fucking hardcore dicing right now. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. I love Blood Bowl. I can 1D there, oh, can't I? Yeah. I should really put this guy here. Because I've got two things. Can he come through the back? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Hmm. I guess this is off here. He's going to go there, I guess. <laughs> Comedy Mega Dyson. Oh, man. <laughs> this sounds like a maniac. Thanks, Ricky. <laughs> I mean, this is, feels really good, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely banging the fuck out of him. <laughs> and like, it, to be fair, it can happen, right? With dwarves, they do have mass mighty blow. They, if they get in a scrum and they can make a bunch of mighty blow hits, things can happen. Like, it's not ridiculous French that it happens, fantastic. but it's it's still very enjoyable when it does. <laughs> that is the kind of laugh that makes you lose viewers on YouTube. Yeah, fine. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> His voice is so annoying. Okay. 
out here. So I can't really tato, can I, because of this guy. So... <laughs> Jesus. Do, does he just go 6-4 and I've got a GFI next turn? That makes sense, because I have to... Uh, he just has to be in range. And I have to make rolls to make him safe. Oh, that was a dodge. Let's not do that. Yeah, dice didn't didn't kill him. Never lucky. That was a little bit annoying because that makes it harder. Oh, he hasn't got guard. <gasps> oh, he hasn't got guard. Oh, I was a bit of an idiot. Don't worry about it. So he just has to double GFI. It's not the safest ball you've ever seen. Oh, he just died. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the safest ball you've ever seen, no. Mm. Well, shit. Uh, blitzer. 14 SPP Blitzer as well. The great thing about dwarves is though, just not caring when somebody dies, right? Like, like that is the best. That is the absolute best thing about them. Even if this guy dies, so what? Do you know what I mean? Like he's only a tiny bit better than a guard long beard. Like it's just so amazing. It's so amazing not having to care about your team. And even if this guy dies, who's like amazing, like a rookie runner is still good, isn't he? Has he blocked his path? He has. Oh, baby! Doesn't get the knockdown. Making this a tremendously easy clear. Yeah, he blocked his path. He was going to hit the ball, wasn't he? I'm sure. Could have probably tried to do like something here, couldn't he? Like a 1D and an up or something. These dice, though. Anything but quads? Yep. So I could make some mighty blow hits, couldn't I? But I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna try. Make sure we have the reroll for the GFI. Fuck you and your banging ways. We're not gonna try the extra hits. Ah! Maybe should have done. Diced! <laughs> if only I'd done an extra hit. If only I'd done an extra hit. Oh, God. If only I'd done the extra block, I'd have rolled dub skulls, re-rolled it, and then scored on the tutty. Tragedy. Ah, oh, well. It's so annoying, isn't it? Like, that's really annoying, a 35 out of 36 draw. Like, 30, like, you know, I'm assuming this is going to be a draw, right, instead of a win. And 35 times out of 36 would have won it. 
you just can't afford them when you've already like been so close in other ones and like this probably should be 14 oh wow well, snake the injury as well oh yeah but not the armor right so oh yeah but that would have been the next one oh my god yeah but the next one could have been a 3d next one could have been a 3d i mean it doesn't matter anyway right it's just a dice it doesn't stupid to even mention it But, um, can't go for the win. <laughs> Unfortunately, going for the win is impossible. This is Blood Bowl. This is Blood Bowl. Going for the win with a bash team is tragically just not possible. How weird is that? And exclamation point shenanigans. This is why I set these mighty blows up here, so that when this mighty blow hits, if it's a push, he, I get an extra mighty blow hit. Glorious. Glorious setup guide from Jim. There you go. It does, yeah, Wolf. It really does. Like when you and when you've already had them with like the run, it just each one gets that much worse, doesn't it? Nah, the win is not on. I guess I might as well punch him here. Four. I guess I've got the wizard, haven't I? So yeah, maybe the wiz maybe the wind could be on. With a, just a little bit more dicing. I mean, he's, he's got two reserves though, so we've still got numbers. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe ten. And he's still got quality. It's a garden and noble warrior. <laughs> yeah, just keep dicing him. Just dice him a little bit harder. Yeah, and when you've had a few close ones, like this team, honestly, this team could easily be like 14, 5, 1. Like, that's not... That's not ludicrous, you know, for it to have been 14, 5, 1. Like, the loss was a comedy mega that maybe I could have played better, a tiny little bit safer or something, and maybe could have scraped the draw. But the loss just felt like I was going to lose that one. And maybe some of those other draws could have been losses, you know. And in fact, one of the one of the wins could have been a, easily been a draw. One of them at least could have easily been a draw. But still, it's just easy to look at the ones that could have easily been wins, right? And like, three, probably three of them could have easily been wins. And then this one as well. Like, also, I should have had the death roll on the field five times out of six. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, we're going to twat magnet this.
the beast trap magnet doesn't seem so bad when you've got guard all around it. Um, well, hey. Should I go for the win? Can I go for the win? Eli's theme. This team's like so scary though, isn't it? Like it's so easy to get punished. I mean it's better than a loss. <laughs> right? The thing about the the thing about the draw is it's better than a loss. Do you reckon Wolf? I don't even know how to fucking go for the win here. Have you seen this fucker? How do, how do you fucking go for the win? All of his guys strength bully me. I've got not. I've, we've got move four guys. How do I even go for the win? Huh. <laughs> by pushing him. in the YouTube video of me now I know what's gonna happen. Oh my god, I thought he was hitting with a rotter. I thought he just literally turned over. I'm going for the win, it's just gonna take me a while, alright? The riot hasn't helped. The riot's put me one turn back from where I thought I was. So two turns of turning over just doesn't seem good enough, does it? So I, I can't go for the win now. It's it's just literally already too late to go for the win now. You reckon with with two turns to turn them over and score? That's if I some my potato somehow survives the strength four, fucking sweeper. Like, all my players are all fucking tied up, right? How, how on earth? How on earth do I get through? Never mind do anything else. I mean, I don't even know how to score. Never mind fucking score early. I should have gone back one eh? I'll just lose instead. Good strap. I just go for the loss. 
directly without the early scope. You guys have watched too much, Rick. Anyone thinking that it's just possible to go for the win? <laughs> anyone, who, anyone who thinks there was a chance of the win has watched too much, Rick. That's all I can say. Oh, you said you can't win, but keyboard fucked up. Fair enough, Hamas. <laughs> Fair enough. I did think it was weird that you thought that I could. <laughs> well, yeah, because you want to win, right? Like, you want to win. You want to go for the win. You want to. I need to tag him somehow, but I just do not even know how. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Hmm. So he does the blitz. We get the pow. And then he goes one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So we need both squares free, so he has to dodge away, and then he has to punch to there and pow. Oh god. Oh, that has to be an uphill push. This is a push, then he can go and get there. It's still just a three plus though, isn't it? Four plus dodge. I mean, I don't have to go this turn, I could go on next turn. I could just punch him and get the stuff in front. Nice. Did get the removal, so could have could have gone for the runner block play. Shit. There were beast options that I was worried about, which is why I left this guy in. If he power there, he could have got the hit on the ball. Nice. So we're going to have him tagged. Or a screen up. Really nice. Okay.
I mean, I could go for the sideline cage. The problem with the wizard is it doesn't do anything. Like, it adds GFIs to hit, but like, if I go here. I guess if I bolt him and then he then he doesn't have the easy way around. Yeah, maybe I do bolt him. Because then if he's on if he's down and there's a guy in front of him, and he's got to go three, four, five, six to hit, hasn't he? Yeah, it probably is worth the bolt here. Oh well, okay. If you get the KO, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting the KO makes it really good. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice with that. Um, he can 2D him. Power him. Where well, hey. Where well, hey. Easiest game of my life. All right, that should be that should be good for the draw. Yeah, maybe he could have fouled the maybe he could have double GFI fouled the gold. Double GFI foul the gold. I mean I was already thinking of the wizard wizard or elementar or but yeah, thanks. <laughs> it is a classic dummy. Hello, pilot in. This should have been a win, though, shouldn't it? Like, but, you know, like I did get the better of the dice throw all the game, like, so it's not as if before the match I thought this should have been a win, but just as it happened. A 35 out of 36 GFI was very sad. Crazy armor play. Can't make it three dice. Good enough. French kiss. <laughs> oh god. I don't know swamp permit. It would be uh, you know, it just depends on how everyone else does. It needs to be better than this probably. I need to get a few more wins. I need to get a few more wins. I need just need a higher win rate than this. Almost certainly need a higher win rate than this. Hello, Ceremal. It's a bit sad, yeah. 
It is a bit sad. Jeez. <laughs> I like. I, I did like his handoff play to score because I was going to whiz if he didn't do that. So I think that was. He did play well in that regard. Um, and he got banged out hard, didn't he? So there wasn't a lot he could have done. Apart from that, he kept the tackle back. Got unlucky with the bolt. Uh, I got unlucky with, with with his dodge, but never mind. Yeah, the one in 36 was very great. Stand firm waiting room. Oh yeah, Dr. Fun. Glorious. Yep. Yeah, that was a that was a grim one in thirty six. Maybe I could have no, I couldn't have chained him. There was no definitely no chain on. Maybe I should have done the GFI the last turn, but then you know, like after getting the other people in range, but then I had to get the blitzer in range, didn't I who used a reroll anyway, so Maybe I could have tried to do the GFI the turn before that. But like, the problem with dwarves is like, is actually the outrunning the cage argument, isn't it? That's the thing. Like, you know, although it's ridiculous, the Mr. Throw outrunning the cage thing. When you when your runner is movement six and like your other guys are four and five, it is actually hard. Like the, hard, the hardest part of the two turn is getting the protection ahead of him, right? Which is why movement eight runner is so good on dwarves. Like, you know, like Elliot had and how everybody will have in 2016, 2016, 2020 rules. Um, like, having the move it is just so much better because it's easy to protect him. Like, he's a slower move six than other, than other move six guys, isn't he, if you see what I mean. He's a slower one in, he's a slower move six than the other move six guys, anyway. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty good, pretty good result only getting the one death, to be honest. And a draw was fine, all things considered. Wait, the MVP was the guy who killed himself on the last turn. Yeah, 19 AV breaks to 11 is crazy. Did make more blocks, but yeah, very lucky on the uh, Kaz and Chaos. But of course, you would hope to translate that into scoring. <laughs> the GFIs. One was a double one. His armor was 39%. Like, you've got to hope <laughs> when your opponent's armor is 39%. Mine was 50, to be fair. Um, but he had claw, didn't he? So, fair enough. 34, 33, 34. Perfect dice there, basically. 33. I said 34. 34, 33, 33. Almost, almost exactly what you would want, isn't it, right? With another, another push and another pow. Would be like perfect distribution of, of uh, you know, not what you'd expect, but like it would match it. 31, 28, 25, so we got slightly bad dice. Kill my favourite player! My favourite player! Oh, my silk nutter! <laughs> yeah, that was, that was something, wasn't it? That was something. When your opponent's armour is 39% and you don't win, feels bad, man. <laughs> My favourite player died as well, that legendary blitzer, whatever he's called. <laughs> oh god, I misclicked. Whatever the fuck the name of that blitzer was, my favourite player is now dead. Right, so... Yeah, losing the guard isn't the worst thing in the world. But yeah, another draw for the record really hurts. It's this team has too many too many draws, and it's it's kind of a symptom of the roller, right? Because because you all of your TV is in one half, <laughs> which naturally puts it towards getting a draw. You have a really strong half and a weak half, and if you have a strong half and a weak half, then a draw becomes more likely, doesn't it? Uh, never mind. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.